Today on the table, I have the Shield 2.0 and the Taurus PT 709 Slim. You will see a price split of about $137. The 2.0 being about $137 cheaper than the Slim. The 2.0 is roughly about an ounce heavier than the Slim. Remind you, I'm using a stupid scale, it's not very accurate, but it will show me a weight difference. And when I looked at the, the specs on the internet, it's saying this firearm's actually lighter, but it's not, so. Trigger break. I do get movement in the front sight, not an ideal trigger break. The slim. I also get movement in the front sight. Uh, the movement's about the same on both of them. I do prefer the shield trigger brake better because the slim, as your trigger's coming back, it almost kind of gets hung up unless you're pushing on the trigger perfectly. So it causes the sight to move two different times. So I think over a string of shots, I would have a tighter group with the Shield 2.0. Now your Slim does have an external safety. It's kind of awkward to use, but it does work. It comes off pretty nice, which is what you want. Going back on though, you almost got to break your hand position. This particular Shield does not have an external safety. Now you can order these in a pile of options with an external safety, without an external safety, whatever you'd like. Racking the slide, they're both pretty difficult. Maybe the shield is slightly easier, but if it is, it's very negligible. Slide release, shield is quite hard to hit. Takes a lot of force to do that. Your 709 does have an extended button. Well, I shouldn't say extended, but a slightly larger button that holds your thumb a little bit better. A little bit easier to do. Size. The length, they're almost exactly identical. The width, the slide, and the frame is almost exactly identical, but the slim is slightly fatter because of the controls. Height. Without a mag in it, the slim is slightly taller. With both of them having a seven round mag in it, I gotta flip it around. The shield actually looks slightly taller just because of this right here. The overall look of the firearm, obviously shield does look better. But you're spending a lot more money on the shield. This just doesn't have the quality of the milling and stuff. The finish don't look quite as good. Mag release from your normal shooting position. It is doable from the slim. Not ideal though. Your 2.0, much easier. When you purchase the firearms with the slim, you're gonna get your owner's manuals, your lockdown key, that also adjusts your sights in one magazine. With the 2.0, you're gonna get your firearm lock, owner's manual, and a second extended eight round magazine. The slim, I cannot get a full grip on it. The 2.0 is a little bit better. Now if I put in the eight round mag that it comes with, I do get a full grip. Both use a three dot sight system. Uh, the 2.0 does have a little bit fatter dots. The slim is a little bit more refined and it is adjustable for windage and elevation where this is just adjustable for windage. The slim does have a loaded flag. Your 2.0 has a hole milled in it 
So you can just peek in there and see if there's brass. Take down of the firearms. With your slim, you're gonna eject your magazine. Release the firing pin, then you pull down this tab and this tab. And your slide comes off. With your shield, release the firing pin. Oh, I actually did that too soon. Pull down your tab. Then you gotta line up the back here. Release the firing pin. Then your slide comes off. Coming apart, I do feel the slim is easier. Going back together, I feel the shield is easier. Now, would I take the 709 or the shield? Myself, I think no matter what, both the firearms will serve you just fine. If you're brand new into the firearm world, I usually push a cheaper firearm just in case you're not satisfied with it. You're not losing so much if you have to get rid of it. And admit, a cheaper firearm is far easier to sell than a more expensive firearm. For myself, where I am into the shooting world, I would actually go with the shield just because it comes with two magazines right away. You get an extended mag, which gives you different grip options. And the overall construction of the firearm, I do feel is superior. Like even the finish on the barrel. Nice. Not so nice. But that's just my opinion. Leave in the comments below which one you would pick and why. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.